fists are not so strong anymore. And I damaged my hand trying to fix a wheel, an electric wheel once. So I've developed ways of um, using my wrist. So that if you want to centre a piece of clay, say it's off centre, you, you, you've got this very strong here. On, on your wrist. You don't even need to jam it into your leg because you've got a lot of strength. If, you, if your seat is as high as the wheel head, then you're, you're using your hip, just moving from the hips, you're not hurting your back at all. And uh, you've got a lot of strength going through your shoulders. So, you could try that. It's amazing how you do find different ways of doing things when, uh, when, when you can't do it one way and you find another. And you don't have to centre enormous amounts of clay all in one go. You just do it in parts. It seems to stick on okay without any air bubbles, hopefully. <coughs> large amounts of clay and I can remember once in one of the Galgon events we had Don Wrights and we had Masamichi Yoshikawa and, and Don of course with the muscles he was really forcing the wheel and he could stop any wheel we had that we, we gathered about 12 wheels for his people and he stopped them all but Masamichi he had a different technique he was just pushing from here and up and he didn't stop one wheel at all. Mm. So Don would look enviously at Masamichi's wheel and say, I need that wheel. <laughs> <laughs> and Masamichi would say, okay. You know. <laughs> it was just technique, really, with, with uh, the way he, uh, he approached it. So I'm just going to spread this right out to the edge the back. Some of you have seen me do this. I've been making pots like this for, I don't know, since the 80s somewhere. And I suppose I've made two or three that I like. <laughs> <laughs> Not easy, is it? So I've come right out to the edge. So the next thing... I'm going to ride down to, to the bat with my thumb and then you go out. So I'm, I'm rolling my thumb along the bottom of the bat. Then when you can't go any further, you change to your fingers. So then you round your fingers that way. Try not to scrape the bat or you'll run out of fingernails <laughs> pretty soon. You just lift. Wow. Now the trick is to breathe. Yes. <laughs> 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 you do forget to breathe sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so you bring it. In and because I'm, this is going to be the base, I've got to remember to keep this in. But this is the claw grip I was telling you about, Harry Davis's famous claw grip. I've had, I mean, I've given classes and everybody in the room I can see doing this. <laughs> <laughs> so have a go. <laughs> But it is good. I mean, there's various ways of bringing it in. Uh, you know, the, the six-point method. I'm sure you've heard of some of these things. You would have remembered. You know, the here, 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 and here, here, here. That was the six-point way. 
hollering in something. But uh, for me, the claw bricks is really simple because you, you're you're kind of feeling it as you're pulling it together. amount of flexibility. It's not not too stiff and not too weak. I use a kick wheel all the time. I think I must have had it about 40 years. Was it Krauss who made those kick wheels? Yeah, yeah. 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 In our time. In our time. Yeah. And it's a really good wheel. Makes a bit of a noise sometimes, but uh, if you're still around when you, uh, you see the film, you'll, you'll hear it does get a bit of a squeak up, but then a bit of that WD-40 will... <laughs> 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 